All right, first things first, we're going to ignore the absolute value sign because that's just in our way, and we got to solve for the equal boundary anyways. So we're going to reset this thing up as, let me get my pen. My pen is not working. Come on. There it is. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to reset this as A minus 4 over A plus 3 equals... 3a plus 2 over a plus 3 plus a over 4. So we look at that problem, we go, okay, I need a common denominator. Well, these two already have one, so let's just move it over, right? Because then I can just simply add those two up. And that's probably an easier way to simplify things than to try to do a common denominator on the right-hand side, which is going to lead to a bunch of quadratics and things I don't want. That would work, by the way, but why do we want that? We don't want it. Okay, so now i got a common denominator. I can add the tops. If I add the tops, I'm going to get uh, negative 2a minus 2 over a plus 3 equals a over 4. So now I've got um, a situation where I can, I can sit there and just do cross multiplication, right? So I've got negative 8a minus 8 equals a squared plus 3a, and that's my cross multiplication stuff. And I take a look at it and go, well, all right, I've got a squared and not a squared, so I've got a quadratic. I have to set it equal to zero then. Got a squared uh, plus 11a uh, plus 8, which is interesting. So uh, unfortunately, that's not factorable. Eight uh, doesn't two factors of eight aren't going to give me eleven, so that's certainly not going to work. So I'm going to double check my work going backwards just to make sure I didn't do anything weird. Come and move that over. Common denominator, and I've got uh, a minus two a minus three a is negative two a. I've got negative four minus two. That should be a six. Aha! So that should have been a twenty-four here which means this should be a 24. Factors of 24 that give me that is a 3 and an 8. So, aha, that's always good to check. So I've got a minus, I get a plus 3, a uh, plus 8. Okay, it's factors of 20, the 24 that up to 11. All right, now that I have that, I know that a has got to be either, it's going to be negative 3, or negative 8. Now I'm not done with finding places that are critical points, I'm with places where it might change behavior. That's just the equals. I haven't dealt with the inequality piece. And specifically, if you look, the bottom of these have a plus 3. So I must also consider the following. Where does a plus 3 give me equal to 0, right? Because that would make it undefined. And undefined can be a boundary. So I have to keep track of that. So I go a equals, and I get negative 3. And I already have negative 3. It's down here, so I don't have to add anything for that. But I should be checking that every single time. All right, last but not least, I, the, what I do is I say set up a number line. This is totally not required, but I would do it every single time. Um, and it's negative 3 is not equals 2, so I go like this at negative 3. Negative 8 is also not equals 2, so that's also a place where I've, I've got a boundary. Um, I would also, by the way, if this was in play, I'd also make that a, a not equals 2 because you can't be undefined, right? Negative 3 plus 3 makes the bottom equal to 0, so then that would cause the whole thing to blow up, Okay. So then last but not least, when you check my three zones, I'm going to choose where A is equal to 0. If I do that, I'm going to get uh, negative 4 over 3 is less than uh, 2 over 3 plus uh, 0. And that, that is absolutely true. So this area up here would absolutely be true. All right? Okay, so then I'm going to check a number between negative 3 and negative 5. Let's choose negative 5 just for the fun of it. If I put negative 5 in there, I'm going to get negative 9 on the top. I'm going to get them plugging it in here. Um, if A equals negative 5, so I plugged it in there. I get negative 9 on the top. I get negative 2 on the bottom. That is less than, um, and I get negative 5, so that's negative 15, negative 13 over negative 2. I love that. And then plus, and then I've got negative uh, 5 over 4. Okay, checking this out. This is 9 halves. This is less than uh, 13 halves uh, plus negative 5 fourths. And so I look at this and go, mm, I'm not really sure. So I'm going to make everything in terms of fourths, which should make it obvious. That would be 18 fourths is less than 26 fourths 
plus negative five fourths. Um, and that's also true. So that'd be true from negative three to negative eight. So that's true as well. And last but not least, I'm gonna check over here in the net like negative nine, negative 10. I'm gonna choose negative 10 because generally speaking, you do math better with 10. So A equals negative 10. I plug it again in over here. I get negative 14 over uh, negative seven, which is less than a negative 28. Uh, and I put a negative 10 on the bottom, I get negative seven. And then plus, and I put in a negative 10, I get negative 10 over four. Taking a look at this, this is negative, this is positive two, is less than uh, la, 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 seven into eight is uh, four minus 2.5, right? Two and a half is what this is. And that gives me two is less than 1.5. That's not true, so I X out that zone. Which means my final answer is going to be that this is true between negative eight and negative three. Again, curved brackets, because these two are not okay. You can't choose negative eight, you can't choose negative three. Why? It was not equals to begin with, and these two are the equals. And then, uh, and then I, that stops at negative three, but it starts again at negative three and goes to infinity. And I believe that is the final answer that you are looking for. I hope this helps. And um, and I will send it to you posty hasty.